waste of words, a waste of breath. Cause I've got none to say. Thoughts they burn inside my chest. Can take it one more day. So hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you had a great Christmas and I hope you're gonna have a fantastic new year. Let's hope it's a better year than the last two. <laughs> but anyway, you'll notice new channel name. So new year, new me. I'm going alone this year. I'm doing the Chase the Sun North and I'm the only one that signed up for that one. So I'm gonna try and do some practice on my own, try and do some big miles, try and have some great adventures. Um, I wanna do a few away days this year. I wanna go off and do some of the official climbs and cycle where I've not been before. So the channel name change has been something I've been thinking about for a while, um, just changing it to my name. But back to today, I'm out doing 70 odd K, I think. It's supposed to rain at 12, so I'm trying to beat the rain. I'm trying to grab a few tiles. I've got four tiles to claim today, and they should give me a 25 by 25 square. The next one though, is gonna be very interesting. It's down the lane, and I can remember Dean saying it uh, isn't all that passable. So the fact we've had loads of rain, it's probably not the best time to do it. <laughs> but that's me, uh, off-road. I like me gravel. Um, I thought I might be able to get to it that way, but I've just checked the map and no, I've definitely got to go back along to Sutton Mallet. It's this tile here. Um, it's very much track for a long way. And that's the problem with tiles. You can never, never get to all of the ones you need because there's not roads going through all of them. But anyway, let's get on. Let's have some fun. Let's try and stay dry. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think we're going to. But anyway, let's do this. Oh, I nearly, nearly forgot then. Happy birthday, Dad. I hope you have a great day today. No matter how much pain I'm in, no matter how, gotta think, I gotta breathe. Changes do come, cause the light's just around the corner. Life must go on. What will kill me will make me strong. <laughs> I think Dean was right, this rain looks lovely. I probably shouldn't be cycling it one-handed because there's potholes. I hope I haven't got to go too far. <laughs> well, it continues going down that hill. That's kind of <laughs> my fear. Things we do. I must point out I'm still on a road bike. It's <laughs> it's I should have put the gravel tyres on, didn't I? What a wally. Actually, I'm going to stop there and I will cry if I haven't gone 10 metres far enough. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed, no punctures on the way back. Although the state of some of these lanes this morning, that uh, that track to get that tile was positively uh, new tarmac. <laughs> Again, absolutely plastered. All fun though. I'm not sure if we're going to beat this rain. The next tile is at Huntsville, and then I've got one at Allstone, and then Biddisham. So I've got three more to go. All right, so that's the next tile, that's Huntsville. I'm off to Highbridge next. I've got one just by Allstone. Uh, just nip off and do. I bet you're all wondering though, why leave Mendip? Well, I find my Sundays are very precious. I, uh, I get one day a week because I have a full-time job to go out and do a bike ride. Um, I've also got to edit a video because I stupidly started a YouTube channel. <laughs> stupidly, I absolutely love it. Um, and I will continue making videos as long as people watch them. But it's the freedom it gives me. Um, at the moment, because everybody doesn't live in Glastonbury, I tend to have to 
tweak the routes to fit with everybody and try and please everybody and a lot of the time I get uh, pointed out that it, it is a day out and not everybody can come on a day out on my long rides so it gives me the freedom to go and do what I want to do because I end up doing what everybody else wants to do and not the rides I want to do. Um, I'd love to do loads more away days and I know not everybody else can do that and been like I say doing chase the sun on my own um, I've got to get used to riding on my own again. Um, I know you're saying, well, you ride with some really lovely people, and I do. They are absolutely brilliant people to ride with. Uh, Del and Pete have supported me the majority of the time this year. But when you've spent a lot of time planning, a couple of afternoons a week planning a ride, finding a cafe, and have only three people turn up, it's a little bit soul-destroying. So it gives me a little bit more freedom to do what I want to do and get back to enjoying my bike ride. Because, I mean, if you look at my heat map, if I put up my heat map here, I've pretty much ridden everywhere um, and that's why <laughs> these tiles are all down dead end roads because I just don't go down dead end roads. Um, I just want to go new places. I love riding my bike in new places. I'm an explorer at heart and I want to do some more exploring. Um, the original plan was to go back to Mike's rides and get all the group together again because there'd be a bigger group on a Sunday um, but the other group doesn't want me filming the videos so to keep making videos I can't really ride with the club so that's why I'm leaving Mendip and not wearing the colours anymore um, but fresh start new year and hopefully some nice things to come some good ideas lots of nice plans and uh, we have got a trip abroad planned with some of the group and I'm looking forward to that immensely and I don't want to jinx things but that's the sun coming out behind me I can't see any rain clouds as yet though there's plenty of water <laughs> Right, two more to go, and then back home. No cafe stop today. All right, so that's the last one. My legs are feeling it now. I've been smashing it around trying to get around. I'm still wheezy. I've got uh, asthma back after the bloody virus, um, which hasn't helped my fitness, but there we go. <laughs> but firstly, I spoke to you soon about punctures. I, uh, the main road into High Bridge, I heard the horrid, but it, thankfully it sealed itself really well. And I also said that I might miss the rain. I might actually regret saying that because that is now looking very, very black and possibly rain like over there um, <laughs> but I am just heading straight back home now we we've done two hours uh, it's 11.38 I had a oh no we don't want to end the ride I had a lazy start this morning didn't start till 9.25 uh, so <laughs> I might live to regret that as well uh, right let's get it done straight back home it is rather warm though. It's definitely, uh, as I said yesterday, the warmest new year on record. Yeah, there is a plus to being absolutely splattered in mud. <laughs> it is quite warm. And I don't know what they're doing to this countryside. Those uh, some massive poles appeared on that uh, track we've been building to Hinkley. They look awful. They made them grey as well. So <laughs> I don't know what they are. Anyway, <laughs> let's get home. Yeah, I didn't make it. <laughs> The rain's beat me. Uh, at least I get to try out my new gaiters today. See if it keeps my feet dry. But uh, we haven't got far to go. I think we're coming in on the outskirts of Wedmore. And it's just across the moors to Glastonbury. So just gonna smash it out and <laughs> try and stay as dry as possible. So, time for a change, moving on. Hopefully we'll still see the gang out on some future rides. I'd love to see them. Um, absolutely love riding my bike with them. But uh, just the stress of trying to find cafes and organize rides and please everybody. Uh, it's making me very ill, I think. Um, so I needed to break, need to change um, and do what I want to do and try and clear my head for a bit. Thanks for watching. We will see you 
in the next video.